Yeah, yesterday is quite a very huge news in Thailand that we already report about the police ride motorcycle and hit a doctor and she passed away. Now, let's take a look on the record from WHO that will you be surprised by this latest report from World Health Organization on Southeast Asia and Asia's road deaths? I believe you won't. Hello. The the World Health Organization. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The WHO said in the report that Thailand topped the list in Southeast Asia and Asia for road deaths with an average of 32.7 people queue for every 100,000. In the mm. 2018 WH Global Status Report on Road Safety coming in after Thailand, World Vietnam, Malaysia, Myanmar, Cambodia, Laos, Timor-Leste, the Philippines, Indonesia, and Singapore, Thailand was also ranked number nine in the top 10 countries with the highest number of road fatality globally. This list was led mostly by African countries. So in a report published in 2019, the Thai Health Promotion Foundation's Road Safety Center said, pedestrians are the most vulnerable. The digital government the Digital Government Development Agency showed that between 2014 and 2017, Thailand has seen more some 20,000 road fatalities and 740 of them were pedestrians. Most of the accidents were caused by motorcycle. The fate of pedestrians on Bangkok roads came to light last week when a policeman on a motorcycle hit and fatally injured a doctor while she was using a zebra crossing. Dr. Walailak Supatawat Jirayagun was an ophthalmologist at Dulalongkorn University Faculty of Medicine. Her death on Friday led to an outburst of anger from medicine who accused Thai motorists of never caring about pedestrians. On another development, her days also prompted three Bangkok governor candidates to come up with ideas on how to prevent such tragic accidents. One of them is Kun Chacha Sitipan, a former prime minister candidate of the Pua Thai party. He said the most important factor in road safety is the strict following of traffic discipline by motorists and future accidents could be prevented only by strict enforcement of traffic laws. He said violators of traffic laws must face severe penalties, both fines and imprisonment, and their driving license must be also revoked. He suggested that the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration urgently improve Bangkok roads to prevent more accidents by repainting zebra crossings and putting up street lamps and alert signal lamps at zebra crossings. The BMA was also urged to place warning signs to show a zebra crossing is a hate and to install CCTV to catch law-breaking motorists. He suggested that zebra crossings used by many pedestrians must have an uh, must have on demand traffic lights. Another candidate is Kun Suchatchavi Suwansovat, who has announced he would contest in Bangkok election under the Democrat Party banner. He offers three proposals to make Bangkok road safe. First, a road accident must not be allowed to fade from public attention like major cases in the past. Secondly, the people can and communities must send representatives to inspect the safety of sidewalks and zebra crossings in their community. Thirdly, young kids must be instilled with the right attitude towards road safety and traffic law discipline from the time they are in the kindergarten. The last candidate is Kun Virod Lakthana Adison. Yeah, here we go. Who has and now he would run as a candidate of the Move Forward Party. 
He said the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration must improve some 4,000 zebra crossings around the capital. He also pointed out traffic lights and CCTV for speed checking should be installed at zebra crossings. Roads should be painted with patterns to warn motorists to slow down before they reach the crossings. Motorists must be reminded to give priority to pedestrians at zebra crossings. That's it all from the three candidates that he shared the ideas and what to, to do with the, the accident. We got a lot of accident while walking, mm -hmm. right? So moving up from the road and safety, Kunina, want to add something? Kunyon, I think that from someone who actually grew up abroad, mm -hmm. I think that Thai people need to understand some basic thing like what is what's the purpose of zebra cross? And what's the purpose of red and green light? And that's it. <laughs> and that will help right. the that life seem to much be, easier. Right. That seems to be basic things, but it seems that's too difficult for us to understand for the people to use the... Well, they got to understand the sign first. Right, right, right. Okay.